dear viewers, welcome you all to our show OSA, that is the Orthopedic Solution Academy. Hope you all are well during this COVID-19 pandemic situation by wearing masks and keeping distance with each other. Dear viewers, today we are going to discuss a topic that is the ischemic disease in lower limb, treated by Elizaro. A very magnificent topic, as well as a very challenging topic also. And the speaker is the one and only, the magnificent presenter, Professor Mofakharul Barisar. I would like to request Professor Mofakharul Barisar to join with us. Thank you, Tarbir, for introducing me. Thank you very much, sir. Dear viewers, so we have uh, four learned academic experts with us. Uh, one of them is Professor Navikov, sir, from Kurgan, Russia, and another one is Professor Manish Dhan, sir, from Sargongaram Hospital, Delhi. I would like to request Professor Manish Dhan, sir, to join with us. Sir, good afternoon. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir. And another one is uh, Dr. Shamsul Huda, sir, uh, from Patna, India. I'd like to request uh, Dr. Shamsul Huda, sir, to join with us. So, welcome. Good afternoon, Dr. Patel. Thank you. Good afternoon. Dear viewers, we have uh, another academic expert from Mauritius, uh, that is uh, Dr. Indranath Chunnu. I hope Professor uh, Navikov, sir, and uh, Professor Indranath Chunnu, sir. Yes, uh, we got Professor. Indranath Chanu, sir, with us. Sir, welcome. Welcome to our show, Orthopedic Solution Academy. I would like to request Professor Indranath Chanu, sir, from Mauritius to join with us. Sir, can you hear me, sir? Yes, sir. Thank you very much. I can hear you. Thank you very much. So we can hear you loudly and clearly. Dear viewers, we hope a Professor Navigov, sir, will join with us in the coming part of our program. Dear viewers, we all know that the ischemic disease in lower limb uh, is a very challenging uh, disease for orthopedic surgeon. And we all know that uh, we can treat it by Elizabeth, but how it is possible? We'll discuss it in our topic today. Now, I'd like to request Professor Mofakharul Barisar to start his magnificent presentation. I'd like to request Professor Mofakharul Barisar to share his screen with us. Sir, would you please share your screen with us? Yes, I'm going to share my screen now. <clears throat> Can you see my screen now? Yes, sir, you can see, sir. You can see, yes. Yeah? Yeah, okay, now I can start. My dear friends, and especially uh, my new friend here, long time I know him, Dr. Indrodit Chundu for Mauritius, Professor Manish Dawan, Professor Navikov, Shamsuruda, and Tanvir, and my viewers. Today I'm going to talk on the very interesting topic that is called the wire technique for ischemic diseases of the lower limbs. Before that, I uh, talked for the last two uh, weeks uh, regarding the TAO and at the same time diabetic food ulcer. So these are my centers. I always love to show this. My Kiev, Tashkent and Kurgan Center, our uh, very big institute, 1000 bedded in Dhaka, Trauma and Orthopedic Hospital. This is my working place and two hospitals very big in the Southeast Asia. And this is my center. And uh, this is, uh, I also love to show this one also. And the Professor Elizar, a 4M man, meat, method, and magician. He's an orthopedic miracle of the nature. So now, today, I would like to remember this gentleman, Professor Shigirov. You can see here with me, day before his, on 6th of this month, he died. He was a fantastic teacher, very gentle, very pol polite, very sober. So I always remember this gentleman. I learned a lot of things from this professor, Vinyamin Maximovich Shigerov. He died on 6th of this month. Most of the Elizaro surgeons in the world, they are the students of the professor Shigerov, including the Drove Ballet, you know. So we are happy that in my country, we are doing a lot of opportunity and we had, we had got a lot of opportunities to showcase our talent. The Elizar of techniques indeed like a mathematical formula, which is infinite variations. It can be used in many clinical settings 
frequently when nothing else can be done. Now, I, I would like to talk on the CLI, that is critical limb ischemia, the reduced blood flow in the arteries of the lower extremities. TAO or severe occlusive artificial disease who did not respond to previous non-surgical and surgical treatment and had chronic critical ischemia in the lower limbs. The treatment experience of diabetic foot ulcer with transverse tibial transport was carried out by Lizarov technique to induce formation of a new vascularity. Modura foot ulcer is not a common condition. It disturbs the daily activities of the patient. TTT, that is I told you last Friday, tibial transverse transport corticotomy induces the formation of new vascularity. Pain swelling with multiple nodules, discharging sinus and discoloration of its skin are the main cause or the main things in the affected limbs. So if you think about this 2000, 2020, 165 cases among this TAO, thrombangitis obliterans 24, limb ischemia 4, diabetic foot ulcer 58 and charcoal arthroneuropathy 54, Mysotoma pedis 1 and post traumatic infected sole and dorsal of the foot 24. Critical limb ischemia is the reduced blood flow in the arteries, the lower extremities. It is a serious form of peripheral arterial disease or PAD, but less common than claudication. Critical limb ischemia is the advanced stage of peripheral arterial disease, which results from a progressive thickening of any arteries lining caused by buildup of plaque. What is the limb threading ischemia? Limb threading ischemia, also referred to as critical limb ischemia, and the limb thread is an advanced stage of peripheral arterial disease. It is defined as a triad of ischemic rest pain, arterial insufficiency ulcers, and at the same time, gangrene of the uh, affected part. What are the five P's? You know all these things. Pain, paresthesia, paralysis, pulses, and poikilothermia. And what are the six P's? The classical description of the patients with acute ischemia is presented by six P's. These are pain, pallor, paralysis, pulse deficit, paresthesia, and poikilothermia. Regarding the uh, biological parameters or biological mechanisms, we should have to know all these four things. Corticotomy, what is that? You know that. Low energy osteotomy with the preservation of periosteum and the osteum and the bone marrow. And law of tension stress, that is the Elizar of law. Slow and steady traction or relieving tissue creates a stress which is metabolically activated and which stimulates histoneogenesis. And TTT, that is how we are going for that, trivial transverse transport, and of course, the destruction of osteogenesis. These are the biological mechanisms. Now you can see when you are doing corticotomy, immediately you are reducing the intermedullary pressure. It improves microcirculation of all small vessels in the medullary cavity. Improves arterial blood supply as well as venous drainage. Pain relief and raising the limb skin temperature within 24 hours after TTT surgery. Now, which is very important that Professor Elizarov has given that law, law of tension stress, just now I told you, limb regeneration and functional reconstruction. The principle behind is this, again, I'm going to repeat that. I would like to emphasize that tension is applied on living tissue. It promotes cell division and differentiation of adult stem cells like that in the fetal tissues development and lead to tissue regeneration. And Kurgan evidence suggests that TTT may mobilize stem cells systematically, especially promoting recruitment and migration of mesenchymal stem cells towards the damaged tissues and mediating the local inflammatory process or response, which improves the local micro environment to facilitate tissue repair or regeneration. 
and you know that distraction of osteogenesis promotes capillary and vascular network regeneration and bone transport technique can significantly improve the microcirculation and soft tissue wound healing now i would like to tell you regarding the procedure look at this picture if you see the right side i have drawn a picture here you can see here this is your tibia when you are going for osteotomy here first of all you make a small incision here small go for cut here and then put the olive here 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 and this is whole like and further this is rectangular this rectangular is going for that i will elevate this one from medial to lateral side putting the olive oil here olive 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 and olive oil here so this is a diagonal scheme you can see here now i would like to show you this one first procedure see i have put the olive first and the below the olive i am going for osteotomy just making a small incision you can see in the right side and in the left side when you are putting the wires then you can as well as you should have to put the rubber stopper and now you can see the right side how i am going for uh, osteotomy after putting below the olive wires this is the first procedure you can see this one and uh, right side and at the same time you can control this whenever you have done the cortocotomy in the right way you can control this by your c arm just below the olive small incision now you can look here from the medial to lateral side now you cutting below the olive and go for rectangular transversely just like this this is the one procedure <clears throat> whenever you have put every wires olive wires then you can fix it with the uh, long plate you can see how we are fixing this with long plate then you can see this is with the uh, long plate with the slotted bar slotted bar this is the right side left side you can see the when you are cutting uh, you are getting a little bit blood is coming from the wound and see this is the way left side and this is the right side you can see how we are fixing this one so this is the way you can do you can fix the lizar of two rings one above one below and depending upon the case you can put three minimum three olive four olive or five olives here i have put five olives and after putting that you cut the wires cut the wires and then see this is from medial to lateral side from medial to lateral side your first ring and second ring and cutting all the wires now you can see your almost operation is finished here this is see small incision with a small incision Uh, i think probably it is very nicely visible you can see here in the cm also you can see and then your fixation is complete you have mounted the apparatus and you can see the how nicely after putting the apparatus with well dressing you can your foot will be leg will be like this and this is the beauty of elizar of apparatus minimal invasive surgery then see this is case dear friend 
diabetic foot ulcer of a 32 years old male. Look at the uh, same patient. Look at the dorsum and look at the plantar surface of the foot. And after primary dressing, I have done the dressing, lot of pass. And then the well dressing was done. And then you can see here. This is the, in the right side, you can see, you make a second procedure. Right side, you make a small hole, small, uh, with drill bit, you make a small drill, small drill with 2.2 uh, mm uh, uh, k wire. You just make the points and, and that side, you go the osteotomy longitudinally you go for osteotomy and then after doing the osteotomy you see i have done the osteotomy the middle one video you can see i have done the osteo little just cast incision and then put the olive oils below the osteotomy below the osteotomy olive oils and this is this is the see first where is going on olive oil So, and the right side, you can see almost it is visible, right side, one, two, three, or four, we have put. So, second one, when uh, after, after cutting the bone, that below the bone, you just put the olive oil, so that you can lift up the uh, uh, segmented bone. So, this is, you see, this is again. What I am doing, you can see, just this is with hammering. Before hammering, I have, with the K wire, I have made a small hole so that in the same line, by this way, you can do the osteotomy. And after doing the osteotomy, you can pull the olive wires accordingly. So I'm showing that so that you can understand easily the, what is happening here. Very small incision and do the osteotomy, nothing to be worried. And you should have to go only meticulously. See, again, osteotomy, you do here from the medial side, because, because you, sh you should have to lift up the bone from the medial to the lateral side. Sometimes you can do it from the medial to the lateral side also for bone widening. So next we can see here, uh, you can see the final, of course, the final way. See the second procedure, see the right side with the olive wires in the X-ray. And this is the final view just after second day after the post operation. Look at the just leg. Look of the leg, look, look the uh, foot of the foot and the leg as well as and the dressing. How we have dressed the full leg. So after uh, the surgery, we allow the patient to go for Elizar of methodology is for fundamental principle load and motion. Look at the left side and the right side. Now I'd like to share some experience with TAO. That is, you can see, this is a disease of thrombangitis, 44-year-old male, TO3, stage 3, lower extremities, sequelae are most prominent on the left side, permanent pain and major trophic ulcer over the left great toe. You can see here, we have done the pre-surgery uh, arteriogram, angiogram, extremity, Extreme degree of involvement, left anterior and posterior arteries are totally occluded at their proximal part. And then this is the, you know, pre peripheral angiogram we have done before surgery, the condition of the uh, lower extremity. And this is after the surgery, vascularity improved in the uh, same limb after doing the surgery.
Now, see the trophic ulcer of the left grade two. After one and a half months, smiling patient, you can see chain smoker, the smiling, the ulcer is healed. Only one and a half months. We have distracted for 21 days and kept it for 45 days. See, widening of the boat, and this is before, and this is after. See here, this one, so bad. And this is the widening of the bone, and this is the final of the, final of the, you know, external view of the great toe. Same case, chain smoker, you can see. Same case, widening of the bone. And this is published in American Journal, 2015. Now, diabetic foot ulcer. I talked about this. Morbidity and disability, the very important things, and mortality, social psychic cost is very important. And this is a diabetic foot, you know, long term, four years non healing ulcer over the right medial region, 2.5 to 2.2 centimeter for 45 years old male and he took a lot of antibiotics and came to my center and then you can see dear friends here i have done the i have put here i have put here the one two three olives done the osteotomy just the two procedures anyone you can do and then here i have put the only console waves console waves from here to here to the metatarsal bones and then every day i have pulled this console wires up to the fast cortex one millimeter per day and this is also like that and as a result this is the heel ulcer you can see here the space is coming here you can see here and this is the this is the uh, heel ulcer you can see here and this is before you can see and this is after. This is miracle. This is magical, I should say. Look at this. They put in the wires. How we can do that? You just go like that. And then put your apparatus in his arm. And gradually is this top. This is radi radiographic view. Now you can see the redness of the skin, and at the same time, you pull the wires. So, this is the heel larsen. This is the beauty of Ilizarov technique, wire technique, how you can uh, save the limb and you can change the color of the skin. Diabetic foot, great toe, C, severe. Again, simple wires, and you can save the limb. This is a charcoal neuropathy, ankle joint. You can see she was suffering long time and she had a trauma and uh, she was treated by another orthopedic surgeon like that. Now you can see the total joint is damaged. Charcoal arthroneuropathy and then shame to, to my place. I did the surgery. Arthrodesis I have done with many incision you can see here from lateral side and from the anterior side and the put the Elizarov fixed it one because the bone quality is not good with thin biocompatible olive wires and Elizarov wires or K wires you can get a very good fantastic result so this is the beauty this is the arthrodesis after take this is before this is after and patient can walk and uh, he could walk she could walk normally and uh, this is the view of the front of the back. And this is also published in American Journal uh, in 2018. Now, let us see the some limb ischemia. You can see, dear friends, look at the left side, non-union, and at the same time, discoloration of the skin. If you prescribe any kind of medicine, you cannot change the color of the skin. Trauma in the right lower femur with non-union and discharge in sinus. Then, what you did, see, normal Elizarov, and see the wires here. These are the console wires. How the wire technique can improve from both these sides, 
from these sides and these sides four one two three four one two three four wire we have we have fixed console wires and then we have started pulling these console wires up to that cortex and as a result you can see the color of the skin already change why because the circulation of the limb is increasing due to this method and you can see before redness of the skin and non union side union achieved and you can compare the color of the skin from here to here so this is the beauty of again the wire technique so this is orthopedic proceedings uh, british limb reconstruction society they have uh, published this one and i presented this paper in uh, june 14 and blrs conference so now dear friend i'd like to draw your attention regarding a very important my setup of a pedis, single case in the world probably i don't know i have seen uh, the literature i don't find anything this gentleman he is a cardiologist from chittagong our another district came to my place before treatment look at this 45 years old gentleman uh, my system of pedis and see uh, he went to different countries for his skin texting even in uh, somalia they have a problem uh, they have a center for uh, testing this and then uh, he went to any European countries, then uh, India and other surrounding South Asia countries, then came to my place. How to help regarding the ulcer? See, he came, his wife is a gynecologist, then I put the reserve. Of course, I counsel him. His uh, father-in-law is a well-known general surgeon in Chittagong. And then, see, look, with three volumes, I was totemized here, you can see here. And then, gradually, started TTT. This is widening of the bone. And you can see, good regenerate, ulcer healed. So this is the role of Elizar of angiogenesis in accelerated healing of painful multi-drug resistant modular foot ulcer, a rare case report also published in 2019 in American Medgrave Journal. Now, I would like to show you some infected sole and dorsal of the foot. These are the varieties. Post-traumatic scar in right foot and infected sole and dorsal of the foot. See how to treat the illiserve. Again, same with multiple k wires and with ttt again you can go for that you can see i have what i have done of course you need to go for skin uh, grafting now you can see the left side dots of the foot with the healed ulcer after one month of ilizar fixation and the right side you can see the radiographic view of the foot after application of the ilizar so where technique dear friends you can see so these are the techniques you should have to apply in the leg and in the foot. And as a result, you can get a very good and fantastic result. So the desire of apparatus, clinical appearance of the foot after three months, you can see and follow up. Now, this is a very interesting case. I'd like to show you 18 times surgery was done. This gentleman from Somalia, you can see here. This is a very interesting case in my life. 2016, five operation in Uganda and Singapore, one operation in Germany and then in Bangladesh. In total, 18 operations was done. Look at this very tall guy. Discharging sinus, non-union and then came to my place. I put, you know, very complex. If you look at this. Those who are doing Elizarov, they will understand. So I put the Elizarov with multiple console wires. Only here you can see, only the top I have put the shunts. Uh, otherwise, everywhere I have put the Elizarov. Now, wires. And then you can see here, wire technique of the femur. 
and then I started pulling. These are the console wires, and then showing regenerate bone. And he was so gloomy when he came to a place after doing the 18 surgeries in total. This is before, this is after showing good regenerate bone. Now see, gloomy face with a smiling face, tall guy, and very interesting case. Now everything is okay, patient is happy, of course you are also happy. So this is another case. An interesting post traumatic, you know, sequelae of left knee dislocation, non healing ulcer of the lateral border of the left foot with equinus and claw toes. You can see here, and then I'll, I'll proceed further. We very quickly, he was with this, came to my place with claw toes, and then I started doing this. See the little toe, and he was advised to go for imputation, and then see before. Smiling patient with heel ulcer and in total results, you can see total case 165, relieved of pain 149, imputation done in three cases due to improper selection of the PBD. And almost all the patients benefited. Now, dear friends, regeneration by ELISA is an innovative medical technology that restored function by enabling body to repair, replace and regenerate damage, aging or disease cells and tissues. TO, atherosclerosis, modular foot ulcer, diabetic foot ulcer, charcoal arthroneuropathy, mesitopapedis, infected soul, dorsal of the foot, all gives magical irizar of compression destruction device. You know, you can treat by this technique and you will get a very good outcome, excellent outcome. And we have a longest follow up 20 years, shortest follow up one year. Complete relief from brain at rest, indefinite postponement of amputation, digital subtraction angiography routinely we have done before and after surgery showed new vascular collateral network across the affected arteries that improved the sacred status of the ischemic limb. And in my conclusion, the resultant new vascularization improved tissue perfusion and oxygenation. This is very important leading to immediate and consistent relief from pain at rest. The TTT surgery should be performed with a minimally invasive fashion throw, small skin, skin incisions, meticulous corticotomy, purposely designed Elizaro fixator to ensure standard surgical procedure and post-operative management. The contributing factors for fair and poor results are continuation of the smoking. This is very important. And dear friends, I'd like to draw your attention regarding the long-term retention of the knowledge. If you tell me, I will forget. If you show me, I might remember. But if you involve me, I learn. This is very true. And these are my old mentors, Shepsov and Diachkov, very good. It is out of surgeon both sides in Kurgan Center. Uh, love to see this all these giant people. We had conducted the Elizar of uh, conference, and uh, this is the Professor Elizar of. I always love to show this, and you know my center. They are doing all the time exercise with Elizar of apparatus. These are my published books since 2006. Seven, eight books. And within a short time, I'm going to publish a superior extremity uh, of the uh, human body. Thank you so much for your kind attention. And uh, finally, uh, I, I always show this evidence, science, and art, surgery, and surgical skill of the surgeon. This is very true. Thank you so much again. Thank you again uh, for your uh, patient hearing. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you very much, sir, for your magnificent and uh, magical presentation. Uh, I think uh, this uh, is a great innovation uh, in the uh, treatment of ischemic limb disease. Um, I would like to uh, request uh, Professor Manish Dhawan, sir, uh, to say something about the presentation and about the innovative treatment. Excellent presentation, excellent. But you know what I'll tell you that it's a learning thing for me also. 
so uh, dr bari the, i want uh, your uh, opinion your uh, comment on two things one is that how does the console wire work because they are just plain wires and uh, there is no oled in that so how does it work and second question will be on madrapur which i will take later on first uh, console wire where you are putting the wire drilling the bone through the wires you are increasing circulation this is the theory and when every day after two or three days you started gradual distracting distracting gradually one millimeter per day again also you are creating circulation this is scientifically proved this is the beauty of console wire and when you are increasing circulation in elizar of methodology normally only not for this one whenever you are doing corticotomy 330% circulation you are increasing that is shown by professor elizar and shape so also so that is the console wire uh, uh, acting like that gradual distraction you go from transverse way and from the vertical way and then you gradually you pull you are increasing circulation you have seen that i have shown you the color of the skin after doing that beautifully shown the, because the uh, uh, circulation increased that's why the color of the skin changed yeah manish sir yeah my question yeah, yeah, is that, hello can you hear me yes 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 sir we can hear it yes sir yeah my second question is that you showed me i think it's probably the i got this idea today from you that you can treat madura mycosis by this because i was not aware now i was also i was also not aware but i have taken it as a challenge once i can put the i can treat the diabetic also a long time very big gap then i thought that to improve circulation that is the principle of elizarov that i started there they agree the cardiologist father in law is a well known general surgeon then i did and he is okay for the last 3 years no problem yeah, because last week i saw the case of madura mycosis i and i i it was i was so confused that what to do for him now my question is that with the elizar of therapy elizar of treatment what kind of drug medical therapy you have done for madura mycosis they, they they are they are getting the treatment for madura food that is okay i have hmm. done that i have done the only the surgical intervention the medicine they are going they are going doing that one medical okay. treatment is also very important with this yes so, yes of course not only the surgery medical treatment at the same time for healing of the ulcer you will go for surgery this one ttt yeah excellent presentation excellent thank you sir thank you uh, thank you sir for your nice questions also and uh, now i would like to request uh, professor indranath chunnu sir to uh, say something regarding the presentation of professor mopakrol bari sir thank you very much i am very pleased to have listened and participated in this uh, lecture i have to congratulate uh, professor mufakar bari for his long experience he has written so many books he has a great large vast knowledge having um, worked in ukraine in tashkent in um, kurgan siberia and in uh, uh, in his elizarov hospital in dhaka i'm greatly impressed by the work he has done i know him very well i have read his books his books i am reading his books as my bi uh, second bible and i uh, i must say that the magic in all this is the osteotomy which is being done so precure precociously dr bari said you must go just by little tap and don't um cause necrosis to the bone little tap of the osteotomy or osteotome to cut the bone but preserving the superiorium uh, blood vessels at the same time we preserve the medullary canal it's not like uh, surgery in uh, orthopedics that we go and ream the or the, the medullary canal here we preserve both the endometrium and the um, the external blood vessels now 
There is one word I'm going to mention, which has never been said by anybody. When I was studying in Russia, in Moscow, the president Nikita Khrushchev once said, snatch from nature what nature offers. He, he declared this because they were growing maize and they wanted bigger maize with uh, bigger, quali better quality. And this is snatching from nature. This is what Elizabeth has done. Elizabeth did osteotomy very slowly started destruction. And he observed that destruction causes the uh, proliferation of all tissues, the blood cells, the soft tissues, blood vessels, nerve tissues and everything. And here by the accordion, in and out, distraction and compression, he increased the blood supply, which is very important. And this is the principle applied in all the Elizabeth operations. Thank you very much, sir. Uh, thank you very much for uh, sharing your knowledge. Uh, now, I'd like to request uh, Dr. Shamsul sir to uh, say something regarding this magnificent presentation. Thank you, Varis, sir, for our wonderful lecture. I really learned a lot from this lecture. I've been using lesero in different deformities and uh, infections, but I've never used in diabetic foot ulcers and ischemic limb diseases. So this is a real wonderful learning using lesero method in enhancing blood supply and circulation and the capacity of regeneration in these cases. Thank you, sir. Thanks a lot, sir. Uh, thank you very much, sir, uh, for your excellent presentation. Uh, sir, I have a question. Uh, uh, you were doing the osteotomy uh, just below the olive. Uh, you, you were cutting the bones uh, uh, through and through for the four cortex or uh, for the uh, third cortex, up to third cortex. <clears throat> uh, <clears throat> Two procedures I have showed you. First one, you go just put the olive, put the olive, small incision, and below the olive, you cut the first olive, okay? Osteotoma. You osteotomize the below the olive, below the first olive. Then from first olive, you go a little bit below. Don't cut the long, don't make a long incision. If you make a long incision, you are inviting the osteomyelitis in the whole limb. Sometimes it happens. Somebody is doing that. If you make a long incision, you may invite a osteomyelitis, bone splinter. That bone may become dead bone. So it is better to do when you put the first olive, you do a below the Olive, do a osteotomy, make incision, and go straight away a little bit, little bit. Your osteotomy size is very small, 5 mm. And then you go to the second olive. Again, you put the osteotome below the olive, do the osteotomy, and from first olive to second olive, the first olive, you try to wait, whether you have done an osteotomy in proper way or not. And then second to third olive, again, you do the osteotomy. From third to second olive, you again see you have done the osteotomy or not. And at the same time, you can control in your lateral view of the C-arm. AP view will not be able to understand. And whenever you are doing this surgery, if you are a little bit intelligent, uh, if you have experience, you could identify with your finger that, yes, I have done the osteotomy. Then you fixed it with your long plate with, with slotted bar, and then you can pull the table a little bit. You're sure you're okay. Then you stop three or four, five, six days. You can stop. Then you can go for uh, destruction. Three, four, five maximum. Then you start destruction. Even I tell you, dear friend, you can try yourself. You take this with your poor patient. As soon as you do this, you will make sure the your increase in circulation and swelling will subside, especially in case of diabetic patients, swelling of the ankle and foot. Then and there it will subside. And I have seen a lot of patients, sir, I am taking a lot of times all kinds of desired. This uh, diuretic I am taking, swelling is not subside, but after doing surgery, 
I have no swelling. And skin, you know, shrinking like this. This is the beauty of because you are increasing circulation in the whole uh, lip. Okay, clear. This is your. Okay. Yes, yes, sir. yes, sir. That's clear. That's Thank why you, I told sir. you. I told you. If I tell you, you will forget. If I. Yeah. So. Uh, yeah. If I tell you, you will forget. Second, if I show you, you might remember. If you involve me, if I involve you, you learn something. Involve, yes, that's why you have to see. Then you learn forever. These are the yes, three sir. things. Yes. So, yes, sir, sir, with this yes. uh, minimally invasive uh, incisions, you complete the, you connect the whole astromy. This way, sir. Yes. Right, sir. Right, hold, hold. Rectangular. Then top and below a, a little bit rectangular. Gradual lift up. Okay. Right. Correct. Sir. Thank you. Thank you. Chandraji, my my uh, dear uh, great man Chunnu, he's my very good beloved. He's doing a lot of Wilizar of in Mauritius and uh, all my good friends. I good to see you here. That you are here. One word. Okay? Thank you. One word. Yes, sir. Can I say? Yes, please, sir. Please. Yes, yes. yes. Sir, please. Yeah, Professor Barry, you are the owner, Professor at Kurgan. And I'm pleased to say that as a foreigner from Mauritius, I went to study in the Soviet Union in 1963 to 69. 63 oh. to 69. Oy, oy, oy. After Too that, much. and worked for three years in surgery, gynecology, medicine, and everything. And then I got another second scholarship, government scholarship to study orthopedics. So when I went there, from 73 to 76, I studied orthopedic surgery at the fourth uh, city hospital and at the Central Institute of Traumatology Orthopedics, and where I have met Professor Aganishan, and I'm pleased to see that Professor um, Bari too had a photography with Professor Aganishan, who gave us, who gave me his apparatus. It was called hinge apparatus. That is, you can yes. fix both long bones and intraarticular bones, but at the same time, there is a hinge to make some movements. And probably this comes in today. This has increased the blood supply around the joints, around the bone, fractured bones, and at the same time, reducing edema and swelling. This is what Professor has been said. So I was the first orthopedic surgeon as a foreigner outside Russia to have introduced this Elizabeth external fixator in Mauritius 70, in 76. That's 45 good. years back. So thank you. I have to congratulate you, Professor, for carrying this work, marvelous work of Professor Elizarov. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir. Uh, it's a great honor for us to speak with you. And uh, definitely we'll be glad if you join with us in our next program also. And dear viewers, uh, we hope, uh, we, yeah, we can, we can, we can learn. Uh, from sharing our knowledge and definitely the ischemic disease in the lower limb it can be treated by Elizaro and this is a very innovative treatment. I hope we will practice in our coming days and we will improve this uh, technique and definitely we will follow our professor, Professor Mofakarul Barisar, a very innovative and magnificent Elizaro surgeon in Bangladesh. I would like to give a salute to Professor Mofakarul Barisar for uh, introducing this type of uh, treatment uh, to us and uh, definitely for showing the evidence-based treatment to us. Dear viewers, uh, I want to say bye-bye today as because of uh, the time is out now and hope we'll see you in the next Friday with another magnificent topic. Until then, I would like to say bye-bye. And I'm Dr. Mohtan Firashraf. I would like to thank Raj TV and definitely the Renato Pharmaceuticals Limited for sponsoring our program and definitely our honorable academic panels for being with us. Okay, have a safe life and have a safe day. Bye-bye.
You are watching Raj TV.